Brendan. Yes, sir. How you doing? On top of the world, great. Nice, clean victory. Got to ice the shins and get ready for the next one. Let's go. Leg kicks, obviously a humongous factor in the fight. Was that part of the game plan? It's the game plan for every fight, so good luck defending them. Anyone can get them kicks. Like We've seen Bubba take however many. We've seen Chris Wade carry out the cage. Like, I'm going to keep using them. Learn how to stop them, I don't know. But um, they were bad. They were really bad. They were exceptionally bad ones. And fair play to Marlon for coming out and giving it a go in the second. Marlon's known for his leg kicks. So were you, were you surprised that you, you were able to stop him? No. No, no, no. Nothing surprised me about that performance at all. It was, uh, it was clean, clinical. Ready for the next one. Is that the biggest win of your career other than your championship win? I'm on a roll, man. I am on a roll. It's hard to doubt me. Put me in the conversation for the best 45ers on the planet right now. How can you not? Do you know what I mean? I know Marlon's been on a bit of a skid, but look at the precise work that I put in. Look at the way I picked him off, switch stances, went head to body, to low, jabs, good right hands, settled in the fight. Yeah, it, it was clinical and um, just one strength to another at the minute. Were you able to watch any of the other featherweight fights Bored tonight? the life out of me. They bored the life out of me. They bored the life out of me. They really did. I'm not even like having a dig at anyone. I mean, well, I am having a dig at everyone. What man about? <laughs> it was boring, man. Is it, it, anybody stick out to you? No. no, 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 no. I swear, I was falling asleep in the back. Uh, I just said to Don and Pete, sorry, I had to come and save the day. Like half the crowd was gone. People was falling asleep. So again, what was I the only finish in the featherweight division at least? Yeah. Again, <laughs> you know what I mean? Anyway, you called five your, points. Called your shot, Mov lead. The last guy to beat you. Um, I'm coming for Mov lead. I'm coming for Mov lead. Call it a call out. Call it what you want. Me and him are the best two guys in here. We proved it. I'm on a roll. Um, his performance, it's just like, you know, it's the same thing. Like, people don't, I don't. Who would you rather watch? Who would you rather watch, win, lose, or draw? It'd be me, wouldn't it? Let's be honest. So, I mean, call your shot. You want him. I mean, are you predicting that's going to be the finals in London? I want five rounds. I want to take him in deep waters like with Bubba. I like Mov Lead, he's a great guy, but I want to fight him again and I want to take him to the trenches. Fought in New York last time, fought in London, now you fought in Vegas. You said it was one, one of your dreams to fight here. Did it live up to the expectations? Coming here as an 18-year-old kid and having dreams and aspirations of fighting here and then coming back and having my head all over the strip on billboards and then to go out and put in a performance like that. This is what I'm doing right now. I'm pinching myself. I'm really, really happy. I'm on top of the world. And that is my first title defence. I don't care about a new tournament. There's one on the belt. Congratulations. Thank you, guys. When Mobley came back here, he believes that he would have been champion last season if he had participated. What do you feel about that? How, how do you think that would have gone down? Did anyone watch um, Movlid's fight? I'm sorry. Did you all watch Movlid's fight? Yes. Who would you rather watch fight? Let's let's have it right. Yeah, you beat me on a split, but who would you rather watch fight? Like, who did who was the main event? Who was the champion this year? Like, where was you? <laughs> you know what I mean? Where, like, anyway, that's enough on that one. You were able to pick him apart, yes. and it was visible, at least to us, that in between that first round, second round, 60 second break, he clearly limped to his corner. Did yep. your corner to that alert you of that, or were you just feeling I didn't off? think he was going to come out. Fair play to Marlon, he gave me hell, didn't he? He gave me fucking hell for a good two minutes. And then uh, and then he gave me a nod then. He gave me a smile like, okay, that was it. And then it was, I just took back over. How did you stay composed and not fall into his trap to get into a firefight where he could have had those open? That was my 43rd fight in MMA. That's how I stayed composed. I'm a seasoned veteran out here now. I really am. And speaking of seasoned, um, obviously you've been in the game. You're a student of the sport. Do you get to soak this in later? Like go to the MGM Grand where Floyd had spot. He fought on his head. Yeah, yeah. Uh, go to Mandalay Bay. Just take it in because you Can mentioned I? being in Vegas. How crazy this is. Let me just say something. I am 27 and 4 with 14 KOs. Who else is doing what I'm doing? Who else is talking on the mic like I am? Who else is putting in performances like that, back to back, stopping Bubba Jenkins, stopping Marlon Moraes, beating the death out of Chris Wade? You know, like, I'm here, man. The champ is here. The champ is here. Deep waters. Fourth and fifth, Mob lead. He gave it a little smile before I give him the smile. We'll see each other again.
in Vegas as a champ on the PFL circuit. Do you think a PFL should come back here to Vegas regularly, or would you like to be a part of it? I wish every single PFL fight was in Vegas. I do not want to go back to Atlanta. I don't like it. Shit. But, you know, got to do what we got to do.